that they were tombs for the pharaohs, and yet no Egyptian pharaoh was ever found in a pyramid in Egypt. Africa, a continent rich in history and intrigue, holds endless wonders waiting to be uncovered. While many of its treasures are captivating and enthralling, some remain enigmatic and eerie, reminiscent of scenes from a horror film. Join us as we unveil 20 baffling mysteries from Africa that defy explanation. Number 15. Homo naledi. Discovering a new ancient human species is an awe-inspiring revelation. It has the potential to reshape our understanding of our own origins. In 2013, a team of brave explorers and dedicated scientists embarked on a journey into the dark recesses of a cave nestled in South Africa's cradle of humankind. What they uncovered was truly remarkable, a collection of bones belonging to a previously unknown human relative named Homo naledi. This humanoid species lived between 236,000 and 335,000 years ago, coexisting with our ancestors. However, Homo naledi presents a perplexing blend of human and primitive features that challenge our prior assumptions about human evolution. For instance, their skull boasted a relatively small brain volume, ranging from 500 to 610 cubic centimeters, similar to chimpanzees. This suggests limited cognitive abilities, yet Homo naledi's wrist and hand bones displayed specializations for precision gripping, hinting at tool-making skills. Their shoulders were also modern, adapted for reaching above their heads. Strangely, their fingers were curved, a feature suitable for tree climbing, much like apes. What adds to the mystery is how these enigmatic humanoids ventured into the deep, remote chambers of the cave system. Accessing the chamber required navigating a narrow shaft known as the Chute of Death, a feat seemingly beyond the capabilities of a primitive species. Did Homo naledi individuals accidentally fall into this chamber, or were they intentionally placed there by more advanced humans? Without concrete clues, their origins remain a tantalizing puzzle for anthropologists. Number 14. The Amazing Baobab Tree – Nature's Superhero Have you ever heard of a tree with superpowers? It might sound a bit unusual, but the baobab tree is a true superhero among trees. This remarkable plant has been around since the time of the dinosaurs, over 200 million years ago, and it thrives in places where few others can. Baobab trees can live for thousands of years. The oldest one on record, the Panka Baobab in Zimbabwe, lived to an impressive age of 2,450 years. These colossal trees are a common sight across the arid African savannas and are considered one of the most iconic and useful trees on our planet. What makes the baobab truly exceptional is its enormous, thick trunk, which can be as wide as 30 meters. It almost looks like a gigantic vegetable planted upside down by giants. This massive trunk is composed of 50% water, allowing it to endure harsh drought conditions. Even the largest baobabs can bounce back and regrow after standing leafless for decades when rainfall finally returns. But the baobab is not just a water reservoir. It serves multiple purposes. Its edible leaves are a staple vegetable crop, and the tart fruit contains six times more vitamin C than oranges. Its bark yields sturdy fibers for making cloth and rope, and even the seeds produce cooking oil. In essence, the baobab provides food, water, and materials in some of the most challenging environments. Given its incredible resilience and life-sustaining qualities, the baobab has rightfully earned its nickname as the Tree of Life. This natural wonder continues to stand tall as a testament to the enduring power of nature. Number 13. The Enigmatic Sky Blue Stone Back in 1990, a miner in Sierra Leone had a rather surprising discovery. Angelo Patone was exploring West Africa when he stumbled upon a truly unusual stone, one that didn't fit the mold of any previously seen. This gemstone possessed a striking sky-blue hue that immediately caught his attention. After subjecting the curious rock to carbon dating tests, it was determined that this peculiar gem had fallen to Earth somewhere between 11,000 and 18,000 years ago, quite a long time ago, to say the least. What truly boggled the mind was the lab analysis, which revealed that the composition of the sky-blue stone was almost entirely pure oxygen, making up a staggering 77% of the gem. It also contained traces of carbon, silicon, calcium, and sodium. Strangely, no known earthly processes could explain the creation of such an exotic gem. The mysterious sky stone had an almost artificial appearance, yet there was no evidence to suggest it was manufactured. It had been excavated from geological strata dating back over 10,000 years, long before any human civilization had the capability to create such a gem. 
This paradoxical sky-blue stone left geologists and gemologists scratching their heads in wonder. The means by which this enigmatic stone came to be remains a mystery. It's possible that an ancient and highly advanced civilization fashioned it using technologies we can't fathom. On the other hand, it might have formed naturally due to some as yet unknown geological processes. The stone's baffling composition defies all conventional terrestrial minerals. Its discovery in a layer of rock that predates human existence adds to the puzzle, suggesting it arrived on Earth before we did. Number 12. Mysterious Desert Fairy Circles In the arid grasslands of Namibia, you'll find a truly puzzling sight. Barren patches of land that form perfect circles, ranging from 2 to 20 meters across. These peculiar formations are known as fairy circles. When you view the Namib grasslands from above, you'll see over 1,800 kilometers of these enigmatic features scattered across the landscape. For decades, these cryptic circles have sparked debates and wonder among ecologists, yet no consensus has been reached regarding the mechanisms that create these intricate patterns in the unforgiving desert terrain. One long-standing hypothesis suggests that termites are the architects behind these circles. It's believed that termites create these circles to efficiently access water, as the circular barren areas concentrate rainfall runoff toward their edges, benefiting the vegetation that surrounds them. However, this termite theory falls short of explaining the existence of larger circles with diameters exceeding 20 meters. Alternative explanations, such as plant competition, gas diffusion, and the presence of radioactive elements, have also been proposed but have not provided satisfactory answers. The mystery deepens when considering the life cycle of fairy circles. These circular gaps persist for anywhere from 24 to 77 years before grasses eventually recolonize them. What triggers this rhythmic cycle of die-off and regrowth remains an enigma. Number 11. Madagascar's astonishing stone forest Madagascar is a true natural wonderland, home to unique and exotic creatures like lemurs and chameleons found nowhere else on Earth. But its beauty isn't limited to its living inhabitants. It also boasts mesmerizing geological marvels that will leave you in awe. In the arid southwest region of Madagascar, you'll find a captivating jungle made of stone, a stone forest. Here, towering rock pinnacles rise from the ground like colossal needles, creating a surreal and one-of-a-kind landscape that will take your breath away. These limestone pinnacles have been shaped over millions of years by the persistent forces of water erosion in the semi-arid climate. The dissolved limestone has given rise to jagged blades of rock and intricate formations, some stretching up to 70 meters in height. From a distance, these gray stone clusters might resemble petrified trees, but up close, they reveal a more imposing and rugged character. The stone forest features narrow canyons and sharp, twisted rocks, creating a challenging maze. Remarkably, this harsh terrain provides a sanctuary for rare animals that can only be found here. While large birds and lemurs once called this place home, they have since vanished. Some speculate that hidden gold and jewels may be concealed within this perilous labyrinth. Walking in the stone forest is a risky endeavor due to confusing paths and the presence of sharp, pointed rocks. These inherent dangers deter people which in turn helps protect the unique animals and plants that thrive here. However, ongoing issues persist as people encroach on the surrounding land and engage in mineral extraction near the forest. Like much of Madagascar's precious natural treasures, the stone forest faces an uncertain future. Number 10. The Dendera Light Among the myriad hieroglyphs and carvings that adorn ancient Egyptian structures, one image has stirred intense debate, the Dendera Light. This enigmatic depiction features what appears to be a bulb-like object emerging from a sacred jed pillar. Some fringe theorists propose it as evidence of early electrical light bulbs, suggesting advanced ancient energy technology. However, mainstream Egyptologists offer a different interpretation rooted in esoteric symbolism. Located in the Hathor Temple at Dendera, along the Nile River south of Cairo, this scene dates back to the 1st century BC during the Ptolemaic dynasty. In the carving, Figures gesture toward the jed pillar with the bulbous object atop it. Just below, an arc-like structure resembles a wire and lamp, fueling speculations about an ancient electrical lighting system. Yet it's crucial to note that the idea of ancient electrification lacks substantial evidence. Mainstream Egyptology contends that the carving holds cryptic religious significance. The jed pillar, symbolizing stability, and the bulbous apex representing the sun disk of the sun god Ra, align with the temple's dedication to the sky goddess Hathor. 
This suggests an astrotheological meaning rather than advanced technology. The Dendera light remains an enduring enigma, sparking lively debates among scholars and enthusiasts alike, its true significance continuing to elude a definitive answer. Number 9. The Peculiar Beast of Madagascar's Wilderness in the mystical and wondrous land of Madagascar, there once dwelled a creature so incredibly unique that it earned the nickname, the Crazy Beast. This peculiar mammal lived millions of years ago, during the late Cretaceous period, and its existence remained a mystery until recently, when its remains were unearthed. The initial discovery took place in 1999, thanks to fossil collectors who stumbled upon the creature's skull. The skull was found in sediments dating back over 66 million years, and while it clearly indicated the creature was a mammal, it sported some truly unusual dental features never before seen. Additional pieces of the creature's skeleton were discovered in 2010, providing scientists with more insight into this fascinating beast. They determined that the crazy beast was approximately the size of a badger, featuring a long, slender body with short legs. Its distinctive skull, marked by a short snout and numerous holes at the front, left researchers intrigued. The scientists who studied the crazy beast concluded that it was a burrowing mammal. The holes in its skull hinted at a keen sense of smell, a valuable asset for locating food underground. The short legs and elongated body suggested that the crazy beast was exceptionally well-suited for digging. Officially named Adelotherium hui, this peculiar creature's moniker combines the Malagasy word adala, meaning crazy, with the Greek word therian, meaning beast. This name aptly encapsulates the bizarre and captivating nature of this ancient mammal. Number 8. The Enigmatic Hidden Chamber of the Great Pyramid the Great Pyramid of Giza, erected over 4,500 years ago, has forever captivated human curiosity with its ancient marvels. As the tallest structure on Earth in its time, this architectural wonder continues to baffle and inspire. In 2017, a new enigma came to light, stirring the intrigue of pyramid enthusiasts, the discovery of a concealed chamber deep within its labyrinthine structure. An international team employed subatomic particles called muons to scan the Great Pyramid, revealing a previously unknown void spanning over 30 meters. But what mysteries might this vast space hold? Archaeologists doubt it conceals valuable artifacts or pharaoh burial chambers, as all known passages have been documented and looted over the ages. However, the existence of an empty chamber within the pyramid still underscores its hidden complexity. More radical theories propose alternative possibilities, a fabled hall of records, said to hold esoteric knowledge from Atlantis, or perhaps an alien machine or interdimensional portal. It's crucial to note that these conjectures lack scientific backing. The true nature and purpose of this concealed void remain shrouded in mystery, yet it symbolizes our enduring fascination with Egyptian enigmas. Non-invasive scanning techniques offer the promise of uncovering further secrets within the Great Pyramid without harming this ancient marvel. With each revelation we journey deeper into the minds of the architects of civilization. Number 7. Africa's Oldest Dinosaur For all you Jurassic Park enthusiasts out there, here's a thrilling discovery. Africa is home to the oldest known dinosaur on the continent. This diminutive dinosaur, known as Mbirasaurus rosorum, was unearthed in northern Zimbabwe. It once roamed the supercontinent Pangaea during the early Triassic period, more than 230 million years ago. This finding offers a fascinating glimpse into the dawn of the dinosaurs in the very land where our own species eventually evolved. The ancient dinosaur was discovered in 2017, and scientists were able to identify it from a nearly complete set of fossilized bones. Bones. Despite its relatively small size, measuring around 2 meters in length and standing just 30 centimeters tall at the hips, Embryosaurus was likely the apex predator in its ecosystem. Its elongated musculature suggests it was surprisingly agile for its size. Paleontologists classify Embryosaurus as a sauropodomorph, belonging to the same lineage as the massive long-necked sauropods that would appear later. However, it had a unique trait of walking on two legs, setting it apart from the later quadrupedal sauropods. These bipedal protosauropods ultimately paved the way for the two-legged movement seen in swift theropods like Velociraptor and T. Rex. This discovery not only adds to our understanding of the ancient world, but also provides a thrilling connection to the origins of the dinosaurs in the very place where they first walked the Earth. Number 6. The Mystery of the Metal Monoliths 
Imagine a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie, mysterious monoliths suddenly appearing in various parts of the world, sparking curiosity and wild speculation. This intriguing phenomenon began in August 2020 when a helicopter pilot spotted a gleaming metal structure nestled in the rocky desert of Utah. It stood tall at 3.5 meters and had an otherworldly appearance. Soon after, hikers stumbled upon this strange object, and photos of it quickly went viral online. People couldn't help but draw comparisons to the enigmatic alien monoliths featured in Arthur C. Clarke and Stanley Kubrick's iconic 1968 film, 2001, A Space Odyssey, which had a profound influence on human evolution in the story. Intriguingly, copycat monoliths began to pop up in random locations across Europe and Asia, from the Netherlands to India. Each of these shiny pillars sparked conspiracy theories about their sudden appearance. However, it was a monolith that appeared in the Congo in February 2021 that caused the most commotion. Unlike the curious reception in Europe, Congolese locals reacted with fear and suspicion. To them, this three, five-meter-tall structure symbolized the intrusion of dark and potentially malevolent forces into their community. Their strong superstitions led the city to protect the monolith until its purpose could be determined. In a strange turn of events, the Congo monolith was eventually set ablaze by an angry mob. Inside, it turned out to be hollow, like an optical illusion, leaving only its metal exterior neatly wrapped around an empty frame. This incident left behind no concrete answers about its creator or purpose, adding to the enduring mystery of these metal monoliths. Number 5. Nubian Stone Tablets Unearthing a Lost Civilization In the Nile Valley, northeast of Khartoum, lie the remnants of a once great but now forgotten civilization, the Kingdom of Kush. This powerful civilization thrived here for nearly a thousand years before its decline and eventual collapse around 300 CE. Archaeologists excavating this region have made a remarkable discovery, well-preserved stone tablets from Kushite temples. These tablets are inscribed with a cryptic language that carries the traditions of this ancient and once mighty African society. The ruins surrounding the Nile in this area are known as the Island of Maroa, named after the Kushite capital city. This place served as the final resting ground for Kushite kings and nobles. Unfortunately, in the 4th century CE, Invaders destroyed the temples and tombs, erasing much of the civilization's history. Despite the ravages of time and pillaging, excavations in the 20th century unearthed a treasure trove of carved stone tablets that remained remarkably intact. These tablets were etched with the Meroitic alphabet, the oldest known writing system south of the Sahara. The inscriptions on these tablets provide valuable glimpses into Nubian history, culture, and burial rituals. However, the Meroitic language has proven incredibly challenging to decipher. Only the pictorial carvings on some tablets, depicting gods and kings, offer partial insights into the Kushite worldview. Deciphering the Meroitic code would shed light on how this influential civilization thrived alongside ancient Egypt and eventually met its mysterious demise. For now, we can only wonder about the messages contained within these weathered Nubian stones, However, unlocking their secrets promises to reveal a crucial missing chapter in human civilization, a chapter that has been reduced to crumbling ruins but still holds great historical significance. Number 4. The Diamond Rush In June 2021, a breathtaking discovery of what appeared to be a potential diamond deposit set South African prospectors into a wild frenzy. It all began when a cattle herder named Erasmus Jacobs stumbled upon a peculiar shiny stone in an open field just outside the village of Kualathi in the KwaZulu-Natal province. Thinking he had uncovered a diamond crystal, Jacobs alerted the villagers, and this news quickly spread like wildfire. The result? A full-blown diamond rush that saw over a thousand fortune seekers flocking to the remote grasslands in the hopes of finding more of these precious gems. Tent cities sprouted up as people dug day and night, driven by dreams of striking it rich. However, amid the excitement, the chaos also attracted get-rich-quick scammers and diamond dealers looking to make quick deals. The government faced a challenge in containing this free-for-all rush. Finally, geologists stepped in and tested samples of the diamonds. The results were surprising. They turned out to be quartz crystals, which, while they may look somewhat similar to diamonds, lack the comparable monetary value. However, many locals remained skeptical of the scientific findings. They had seen fellow diggers unearthing handfuls of these radiant stones, 
and some claim to have sold them for substantial sums to diamond traders. The diamond rush left a legacy of excitement, dashed hopes, and the enduring allure of the search for precious gems in South African soil. Number 3. The Eye of the Sahara Visible amid the vast dunes of the Western Sahara Desert is a distinctive feature known as the Eye of the Sahara. This enigmatic bullseye structure has a diameter of 40 kilometers and first caught the attention of astronauts when it was spotted from orbit in the 1960s. Now officially called the Rishat structure, it ranks as one of Earth's most easily recognizable geological landmarks. Situated in the otherwise desolate Tiris Zemur region of central Mauritania, this peculiar formation consists of concentric rings that alternate between light and dark bands. For a long time, Scientists speculated that it might be an asteroid impact crater. However, a more comprehensive understanding has emerged over the years. It turns out that the Eye of the Sahara was shaped by natural erosion processes that unfolded over millions of years. Initially, the uplifting of the continental crust created a domed structure as the land gradually rose. As the ages passed, wind and water erosion wore away the weaker upper layers, forming circular channels. This continuous erosion sculpted the dramatic concentric ridges that define the eye of the Sahara. The more resistant rock eroded at a slower rate compared to the surrounding strata, which contributed to the structure's distinct appearance. Today, the exposed sediments within the eye reveal a geological history spanning a hundred million years, encompassing the Cretaceous through the Eocene epochs. Fossils found in the area suggest that this region was once lush and inhabited by dinosaurs in ancient times before shifting climates transformed it into the desert we see today. A marvel visible from space, the Eye of the Sahara stands as a testament to the powerful and ongoing forces that continually reshape our dynamic planet. Number 2. The Marvelous Ruins of Great Zimbabwe the monumental stone ruins of Great Zimbabwe stand as a testament to one of the largest Iron Age urban centers south of the Sahara. This intricate complex was meticulously built over three centuries, eventually becoming the thriving heart of the Kingdom of Zimbabwe. It reigned supreme in southern Africa from around the 11th century to 1450 CE, leaving behind massive walls that still stand today and offer insights into the development of this advanced early civilization. Interestingly, Great Zimbabwe remained largely forgotten after its abandonment until the 16th century when Portuguese traders first learned of these fabulous stone structures inland, crafted long ago by the ancestors of local Africans. During the era of European colonization in Africa, debates raged over whether native Africans could have constructed such grand architecture. Even after archaeological excavations confirmed that the local Shona people were indeed the masterminds behind these structures, some still clung to the belief of external influences. These remarkable ruins covered a vast area of 1,300 acres and were home to approximately 20,000 residents at their peak. Massive stone enclosures safeguarded the ruling elite, while nearby areas housed commoners, artisans, and traders. The civilization's ingenuity shone through in its use of sophisticated irrigation systems that enabled agriculture to thrive within the city. Additionally, Exquisitely carved artifacts bear testimony to the Shona civilization's artistic prowess. However, as resources dwindled over time, the city was eventually abandoned, leaving behind the enduring legacy of the Great Zimbabwe Ruins, a testament to the rise and fall of an extraordinary civilization in the heart of Southern Africa. Number 1. Half-human, half-dog mythical creatures that blend the human and the animal have fascinated cultures worldwide throughout human history. Tales of beings that are part human and part animal, like werewolves, centaurs, and sphinxes, have been woven into folklore from antiquity. But what if these legends weren't just stories? Contemporary reports suggest that these creatures may be more than mere legends. There are claims of beings that appear to be half human, half canine, wandering in remote areas of Africa. These enigmatic beings, often referred to as dogmen, are said to possess both human and dog-like traits. Reports of these sightings periodically surface across the African wilderness. In 2017, residents of Limpopo, South Africa, reported frequent encounters with dogmen, describing them as towering figures, over seven feet tall, with faces resembling hyenas. Take a look at this footage. Two of these creatures are unmistakably dogs, but the third one is something entirely different, not a dog by any means. These sightings are not isolated incidents. 
Tribes people in Liberia also share stories of mysterious dog-like creatures inhabiting the forests. However, despite these accounts, there is no concrete physical evidence or clear photographic documentation to confirm the existence of these apparent dogmen.